Miss Memphis. It's getting late. You'd better call Mr. Butler. I done called him two times already, Miss Butler. Seems like he don't never come down till I called him the third time. I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna call him the third time first and save them other two calls. Goodbye, dear. Take care of yourself. See you tonight. Uh, Henry! Huh? Aren't you gonna have your breakfast? Yeah, sure. Didn't I have my breakfast? Darling. My goodness, I'm busy. I'm way ahead of myself. Memphis, why didn't you call me? I did call you, sir. I called you and called you till I was black in the face. Oh, you did, huh? Very good, Memphis. Very good. Black in the face. Do you hear that, honey? Pardon me. Pardon me. Let me have this piece of it. What do you know? Grace Norman got a divorce from Jack. A picture in the paper. Mm, she photographed well. Wish I photographed as well. Mm, that's too bad. They could really have made a success they tried. Don't you think so, dear? Henry, did you hear what I said? What did you say, dear? I said Grace Norman has got a divorce from Jack. Oh, that's too bad. Who? Grace Norman. What about her? She got her divorce from Jack. My, my. Well, for goodness sakes, they seem such a happy couple to me. Miss Butler, there's a man on the phone who wants to know, do you want Dove or Bridal Figures on the cake or both? But the man's holding the phone. Somebody want me on the phone? No, dear, it's just, uh, tell him I'll call him later, though. Yes, sir. Hey, honey, look, I want to I call your attention to something. See that Goldberg's? No wonder he doesn't do any business. <laughs> Darling, what day is today? Seven says Tuesday. I mean the date, dear. The sixth. Does that mean anything to you? I'll say it does. Why, it's the day before I began you will sail. Look, look. You see that? Every family in town has this on their breakfast table right now. You know, Henry, sometimes I think you're married to that department store instead of to me. Sometimes uh -oh. I think I... Oh, honey, don't be silly. Uh-oh, 8 o'clock. Gotta be gone. Late. Goodbye, dear. Take care of yourself. We'll see you tonight. Have you got your glasses? Yeah. Have your keys? Yeah. And a clean handkerchief? Yeah. Well, Grace, you don't have to worry anymore about someone forgetting your anniversary. Do you, kid? I should say not. It's perfectly marvelous, Sarah, this feeling of freedom. I keep pinching myself to see if I'm really awake. And I got the most wonderful property settlement, thanks to my brilliant attorney. He comes from the East. He's perfectly charming. His name is Gilbert Wayne. Oh, no, of course I'm not in love with him. Don't be silly. Really, Clara, I don't think I'll ever love again. Hold on a minute, dear. There's some at the door. Why, Effie, darling! How sweet of you to come. Come on in. I'm talking on the telephone. Sit down, dear. Make yourself comfy. Help yourself a cigarette. Oh, dear, I always forget you don't smoke. Hello, Clara. What were we talking about? Oh, yes, love. Well, personally, I'm through with it. There isn't a man living that I'd trust. Not one. They're all born cheaters. It's Clara Drake. Sometimes I wonder how Wilbur ever puts up with her. But then he's such a stuffy boy. Huh? Uh-uh. Well, listen, dear, I'll have to say goodbye, but then I'll see you tonight. Are they invited to your anniversary dinner? You're going to Effie's party tonight? Well, then I'll see you there. Goodbye, dear. That fat woman, once she gets you on the phone, there's just no getting rid of it. Effie, how sweet you look. So, this is your 20th anniversary. Congratulations. I suppose Henry's beaming. Well, as a matter of fact, he forgot it. Effie, no. That's just the way my Jack started. I'd look into it. Well, there's nothing to look into. He simply forgot it. He doesn't forget the date he's to leave on his fishing trips, and he didn't forget the day he was to leave for his lodge convention but, in New York. But he did forget to come home on the day you expected him. But business kept him off the convention was over. Oh, that's what he said. Someday you'll get your eyes open. Men are all alike. Liars. Cheats. I know. But my Henry isn't like other men. Oh, he's different. <laughs> That's exactly the way I used to feel about Jack. Then came the awakening. Oh, don't get the idea that I'm bitter. Not at all. Why, Jack and I are the best of friends. Oh, pardon me a minute. Well, hello, stranger. Come right in. Hello, Mrs. Norman. How are you today? Never felt better. Give me your hat. Come along. I have a friend I want you to meet. Mrs. Butler, Mr. Gilbert Wayne, my attorney. How do you do, Mrs. Butler? How do you do? Well, I suppose congratulations are in order, eh? Thank you. <laughs> well, are all the little details taken care of? Oh, yes. 
Your husband's been very generous. Oh, you mean ex-husband. <laughs> Pardon me, your ex-husband. Now, here's your final decree, signed, sealed, and delivered. And here's your check. Settlement in full. Very generous, don't you think? Yes. Yes, indeed. But, of course, stinginess never was one of Jack's faults. Not so bad, eh? Hmm. <laughs> and I suppose he was just as generous with your fee. Well, if you remember, according to the settlement agreement, that was to be taken care of by you. What's that? Oh, oh yes, of course. Certainly. Well, uh, you see... Uh, well, there's no hurry about it. Any time at your convenience. Yes, yes, of course. Well, I'll send you a check in the morning. Thank you. If you'll excuse me, I'll be running along. Goodbye, Mrs. Butler. Nice to have met you. Thank if you. If I can ever be of any service oh, to you. Oh, save your breath, Gil. She's one of the happiest women I know. Married 20 years today and to the same man. So? That's right. <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Butler. That's a record to be proud of. Yes, I think so. If we were all like Effie, you'd starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Lane. Goodbye, Gil. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. Yes, I'll be in my office all day tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, how do you like him? Isn't he wonderful? By the way, have you invited Jack to your party? Well, under the circumstances, no. Well, in that case, do you mind if I bring Gil? You know, he said he'd like to meet some of my friends. Why, it's quite all right. Bring him by all means. Oh, yes, I, I mustn't forget to make a place card for him. How do you spell his name? Gilbert Wayne. W-A-Y-N-E. Oh, we'll put that at the place next to Mrs. Drake, right there. Yes, ma'am. I sure glad this year, Mr. What's his name for coming? Why? Cause without him, it would have been 13. And 13 is bad luck, Mr. Butler. Mighty bad luck. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Opal. Uh, what did you do with my present for Mr. Butler? Oh, here it is. Where do you want me to put it? I'll put it. Thank you. All right. Uh, Miss Butler, don't you think it's time you're getting dressed? It's getting late. Oh, I'm all ready, except to slip on my dress, and that won't take but a minute. Uh, has the ice cream come? Yes, ma'am. And the cake? Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, Memphis, have you put out Mr. Butler's clothes? Yes, ma'am. Good. Uh, I'll run up the chain. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Mrs. Butler. Oh, what's the matter? You don't walk under that ladder. Oh, is that all? I, I thought something had really happened. <laughs> Why, in the same place. That's bad. I wouldn't be surprised if this surprise party don't turn out to be the wrong kind of surprise. No, oh, no, it doesn't make, it doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. Uh, get me Mr. Johnson, the hostage department. I want to speak, uh, uh, huh? I want to... Uh, you gone home? What did you do, take the afternoon off? I... No, seven o'clock? Oh, no, no, no. It can't be seven o'clock this time of the day. Can't be. Oh, it is seven o'clock this time of the day. Goodness sake. Well, what are you doing here? Why don't you go home? There. Goodness sake, seven o'clock. How time flies. Late to dinner again. And there be cold. That will be mad. Done. Work all day and do nothing. I'd like you to okay these fashion show numbers, H.J., before you go. See, we're using them the first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm disturbed over the shoulder sweep of this sweater. What's wrong with it? Mm -hmm. I can't see anything wrong with it. Well, I don't like it. How do you like the uh, drape of this formal? I see you don't approve of it. Well, frankly, neither do I. Annette, uh, change to the uh, turquoise blue. It's a bit daring, but the lines are gorgeous. I'm sure you'll agree that this cocktail ensemble is perfect. I don't like it. But it's Jade. I don't like it. Well, I can make a substitution. Change to the uh, jersey print. Oh, it's Jade, I want you to see my arrangement of the wax models in the window display. I'm sure you'll like it. You think you'll have time? Hmm, I suppose so. Fine. Sure. All right, come on, girls. Make those changes as fast as you can. Mr. Butler and I'll be downstairs, and we'll see you there. Now, here's what I mean, H.J. Now, you take, uh, well, take the figure, for instance. By the way, I call her Hetty. Don't you think there's a resemblance? Hetty? Oh, yes. I saw her in that picture called Gone with the Wind. Wasn't she wonderful in that scene with Red Butler? That was oh. Vivian Leigh. That was Vivian who? Vivian Leigh. Never heard of her. But now, to get back to the figure, we not only call attention to the gown, but we also emphasize the vanity without stressing it too much. Mm hmm, that sounds all right. Very good idea. 
Uh-oh, careful there, H.G. After all, this is my department. If you want any changes made, just tell me. What's wrong? Well, I'm sorry, but I, I, I thought maybe the, the hand should be tilted just... Tilted? Just a little bit, just a little tilt. The winning tilt. Like that? There, now, that looks much better. And is there anything wrong with Carol over there? Oh, Carol, well, let me see. Uh-huh, well, I think that... No, nothing wrong with Carol. She looks fine there, looks very comfortable. Very good likeness, too. It's a good job, good job, Mr. Sibley. Now, let's see, down, 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 here. Oh, 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 no. The bed, the bed, I don't like the... And what's the matter with the bed? Well, I, I just don't like the position of the bed. You see, we're featuring the mattress and the bedding. See? Not the bed alone. Now, I'll show you something. Anyone passing by outside on the sidewalk and looking in here, all they can see is the foot of the bed. Just the foot. They can't see the... Look, I'll show you. Just move it over a little bit and I'll show you. Just a little bit. No harm, no harm, Mr. Sibley. Now, would you mind pushing the bed just a little bit to the right? That's it. Oh, too much, too much. Back a little bit more. Too much. Now, just a teeny one of three. There, there you are. Now, you see, that looks better. And look, anyone passing by and looking through the window can visualize themselves sleeping peacefully on our double X slumber mattress. So be long, Wilbur. And he'll never forgive us if we hold up her party. Be back in the gift. Everything looks lovely. Everything is fine. Now, there's just one more thing, Mr. Sibley. Now, I think that Carol would look much better over here on the bed than over there, because over here she would attract more attention to the bed. What do you think? Definitely not. Well, I... Oh, there you are, girl. H.J., hey, will you okay these costumes? Sure, come here, little girl. Very good, very fine. Say, now, Mr. Sibley, while we're at it, I just want to show you what I mean about Carol being over here. Now, wait, I'll just watch this one. What are you looking at? Shh. What are you looking at? Hmm. And on his 20th anniversary, too. Poor Effie. Well, I guess I've been in the wrong kind of business for the last 15 years. Well done. Come on. Huh. Now look, Clara. You're a pretty good friend of Effie's, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, then, keep your mouth shut. Now, come on, get what? in, let's go. What a funny thing. Never mind, come on, start by Don't you think Sarah looks much better here, like that? I most certainly do not. Come on, girl, let's go. Come in. Oh, I guess he didn't like it. Sibley say. Do something. You know, I've never given a party when it was a surprise for Henry before. Now, just as nervous as a child. <laughs> you shouldn't be nervous about your own husband. Oh, but all women are. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Clara. Hello, dear. 
Well, if we're late, you can blame Wilbur. You know his saving. Always some last-minute business to attend to. But you're not late, Clara. Mm -hmm. Henry isn't home yet. No. No. Well, <laughs> he's probably just working over something at the office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know how he is. When he has anything on his mind, time means nothing. Well, I certainly look into this, my dear, if I were you. What well, else? Oh, I'm oh. sorry, dear. No better kid, Jeffy. She's spoiled because my work's over at 3 o'clock. Mm. All men don't have banker's hours, you know. Oh, there's Mabel and Bert. Come along, dear. Oh, well, I'll see you later. <laughs> what are you laughing at? These old snapshots of you and Henry. Well, they're priceless. Have you come to the one with Henry and me on our honeymoon with Niagara Falls in the background? No, no. not yet. <laughs> when you see the hat I'm wearing in that one, you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what an awfully smart dress, Clara. So becoming. Don't you think it thins you down a bit? Oh, thank you, dear. Well, you know there's a great deal of competition these days, Effie. But I'll never lose Wilbur through my carelessness and appearance. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you putting on a little weight, dear? Oh, a little perhaps, but it doesn't bother me. Henry likes it, and he's all that matters. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Pardon me, please. Hey, when do we eat? Shh. As soon as Henry gets here, be patient. Patient? I walked out on a deal that would have made me 2,000 bucks to get here in time. Hello, Hello <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Wayne. Hello. My dear, my dear, would you ever forgive us for being so late? We got caught in the most frightful traffic jam and just the one time in my life I wanted to be on time. Was Henry surprised? What did he say? Well, you're not late. As a matter of fact, Henry isn't home yet. Uh, of course, he didn't know I was giving this party for him, but he's never been this late for dinner before. Well, you phoned the store? Uh, no, no, because I expected him any minute. Bill. Oh, it was simply wonderful what he did. Well, that's marvelous. Wilma, Mama. darling, will you get me another glass of punch? Doesn't it seem strange to you that Henry isn't home yet? Why, yes, it does seem I so. could tell them where he is. Why? What do you mean? Well, on the way down, Wilbur had to stop at the office. That's near Henry's store. And she got out of the car and went over to the window, and, um... Uh, and when she peeked in the window, there was Henry. <gasps> The water runs deep, you know. He was born under the sign of Leo, and they're born playboys. How do you know what sign he was born under? His birth date's the same month as mine. Oh, then what does that make you? Are you ringing the right number? Uh, Garfield, 3651. Oh, you are. Thank you. I feel so sorry for poor Effie. If she ever finds it out, it will break her heart. There he was, sitting on the bed with a beautiful girl. Not Henry Butler. Henry Butler. Well. Uh, uh, what's the matter, Miss Butler? Look like you done seen a ghost. Oh, Mrs. I, I'm so worried about Mr. Butler. Will you take the car and go down to the store and see what has happened to him? Yes, ma'am. I sure wish you hadn't walked under that ladder. But uh, it's very important, you see. Uh, she got an awful uh, blow there. That she, she looks terrible. It's always bad. Huh? Oh, no, no. You can't wait until in the morning. I got to get her fixed up tonight. But she got to be in the window in the morning. Yeah, I'm in a hurry. Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Max. Thanks. All right, I'll drive her right down. I'll be right down there right away. Yeah, okay.
Be on the lookout for a black sedan. License in B column. 16B988. 16B988. Body of dead woman reported in back seat of car. Man is dangerous. May be armed. That is all. Rosenberg. Now, don't worry, Mr. Buffer. She had a pretty bad bump. But I'll have her back in the morning looking like she just stepped right out of a beauty shop. That's fine, Max. That's a load off of my mind. Now I can go home and have dinner in peace. Dinner? Yeah. What? At 9.30? Is it 9.30? My, my. Bedtime. What'll that be say? I I'm sorry to have kept you all so late. I know you must be starved. You said it, Effie. Bertram. Well, I'm hungry. It's early yet, Effie. Let's give him a few more minutes. How would it be if I did some of my card tricks? Oh, thank you so much, Wilbur. But I think we'll have dinner now. Come along, folks. Well, folks, let's have a toast. Oh, I love toast. Make it a funny one. <laughs> to our charming hostess, may we all live to be invited to her golden wedding. Oh, isn't that cute? It's very sweet. And to our invisible host, absent in person, but... Uh, with us in spirit. I am not. Now look, a fresh guy. What did you do with a blonde woman you had in your car? I didn't have a woman in my car. You didn't, eh? No. We found these in the back seat of your car. How do you alibi that? Oh, oh, I know. They must have fallen off a carol when I carried out of the car. I thought you said you didn't have a woman in the car with you. I didn't. Well, then who's this carol? The model. I suppose a model ain't a woman. Now we're getting somewhere. Where did you hide her? I didn't hide her. I took her down to Max to get her fixed up. Fixed up? Yeah, Max said he'd fix her up so that Mr. Sibley wouldn't know about the accident. Accident? Oh. Sibley, Max, wait a minute. Now let's get started right from the beginning. Well, to begin with, Mr. Sibley wouldn't let me touch her. So there's another man in the case. Jealous, eh? No, but he thinks a lot of it, too. This guy, Sibley, and you were goofy over the same blonde. You take her away from him and, uh... No, no, no. No, you see, it was like this. He left me alone with her. And after he'd gone, I picked Carol up, and I was taking her across the room to the bed. I want to lay her down there. But going over there, I tripped, and she fell to the floor. And, and when she fell, she must have hit her head on the bed. Yeah. Go and, on. Yeah, I'll go on. Yeah. So I turned her, her over, see? And when I did, I noticed a big gash in her head. And I knew that if Sibley came the next morning and found that big gash in her head, he'd be furious. Because I know Sibley. Huh. So what did I do? I pick her up and take her over to Max to get her fixed up. And I was hurrying home to dinner when an officer stopped me. Well, of all the cold-blooded guys that I ever met... Mr. Police, I tell you, I ain't done nothing. No, I suppose you just drove that car in the city hall fountain to watch it. No, sir, I had a nervous shock, and I was tearing out for home when the fountain just jumped right up in front of me. I... Oh, Mr. Butler, they done catched you, didn't they? You know this man? Yes, I was for it. So you're in on the murder, too? No, sir, not me. Where's the body? I don't know what he done with it. I told you, it's down to Max Waxworks. Max Waxworks? Yes, Max Waxworks. If you don't believe it, go down and see. Flanagan, lock these mugs up before I go screwy. I gotta have time to figure this out. Come on, you. Hey, you can't do this. Oh, Brian, the whole thing is screwy. Max Waxworks, Sylvie. Good night. So glad you came. Yeah, that's swell time. No fooling, Effie. It was great. Really? Come on, Clara. I know just how you're feeling, dear. But don't worry. Henry would have a good excuse for not coming home. I hope. Clara? Uh, come in, dear. Good night, darling. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Well, as usual, always the last to leave. Good night, Effie. Good night, Good night, Mrs. Butler. Uh, good Thanks night. so much for inviting me. Well, I'm so glad you I joined I'll have the pleasure of meeting your husband sometime. I'm sure you will. What do you mean, Gil? In court? No, no, no. I didn't mean it that way, Mrs. Butler. Oh, I'm sure you didn't. Good night, Effie. Good night, my dear. Come on, Gil. So you're Henry different. Ha, ha, ha. And the next time you take a wax model down to Max Waxworks, I hope you do it on my day off. Now get out. Here, take these with you. Come on, Mavis. I'm gone. What are you doing that for? I figured the quiet eyes getting in. The less noise is going to be later on. Yeah. I think you got something there.
all this. That was your 20th anniversary dinner. My anniversary? No, it couldn't have been. Could... It was. I said it was. Yeah, you said it was. Why didn't you tell me it was my anniversary? You didn't ask me. Oh, no. Good night, boy. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't quite figure it out. What do you mean by my being a witness? What's it all about? I'm divorcing Henry. Divorcing Uncle Henry? Oh, you're not serious. I never was more serious in my life. But you two have always been so happy. Yes. We were until... Well, if you must know, there's another woman. Oh, I don't believe it. I can't believe it. Nevertheless, it's true. Uncle Henry, a playboy? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't, eh? If you had a husband who stayed out all night and came home with these in his pocket and guilt written all over his face, perhaps you'd understand my present frame of mind. Well, that certainly is a shock. Oh, what shall I do with these? Oh, they're Henry's. I moved him across to the guest room. I must have forgotten these. Just take them over to you and put them in his dresser, will you please? The second drawer. Uh, the the right-hand corner. Take them out. Oh! I have orders to shoot all intruders. No trespassing allowed. Oh, you must be Uncle Henry's keeper. Something like that. Well, I'm on the other side of the fence. So that sort of makes us enemies. Does it? Well, can't be compromised and be sort of friendly enemy. Why not? I never quarrel with lawyers. Say, how did you know I was interested in law? Purely elementary, Watson. For one thing, you're wearing a Phi Beta Kappa key, and you use such words as compromise and trespass. Marvelous. Such deduction, Sherlock. But I still have some hurdles to jump before I become a full-fledged lawyer. Simple little things like passing my bar exams and finding some clients. And when you do hang out your shingle, what are you going in for? Divorce cases? Uh-huh. Not me. I think divorce is, well, sort of tragic. I'd rather be the kind of a lawyer who keeps couples together. Take this case, for instance. It's all wrong. It just doesn't add up. Gee, I'm glad to hear you say that. That's the way I see it. Well, I better be getting back to Aunt Effie. Say! How's about telling the fellow your name? Jane Forbes. Forbes. That's pretty. I like that. And yours? Kindly step this way. Miss Forbes, allow me to present Mr. Bob Grant. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you later. You look your own. Well, Grant, old man. It begins to look like his job has possibilities. They don't need wearing your fingers. I can't get you no quicker. Is this the butler residence? Yes. 
Well, step aside, eight ball, and tell Mrs. Butler that Gooch Mulligan's here. I'm Miss Butler. What do you want to see me about? Well, lady, I'm a private detective and a bodyguard. Mr. Wayne sent me around. He said I was to protect you in case that tough guy you're married to gets violent again. He did? Yeah. Well, <laughs> make yourself at home. Thanks. Right. Here, put it away. Never mind about that, I'll take care of it. Hello, Memphis, I... Oh, I beg your pardon. I thought I was in the commission for the wrong house. I thought it was 814. This is 814. Hey, what is this, a game or something? What do you want? I want to come in, this is my home. You Henry Butler? Yes. Who are you? Never mind who I am. I'm very sorry. Oh, fresh cake, huh? Tough, eh? I guess you got something. I'm going to fish for you. What do you got? Oh, what? Oh, you a pipe, huh? Oh, Just my pipe. Get up. Careful. Look out for that thing. Look. Careful, careful with that. It's loaded. Look out. Put it out of the way. Man, look out. Look out. Look out. That's loaded, man. Take it off. Girl from weakening, I'll be lucky. It may take a little high pressure, but... Well, I'll feel better when I get her signature tonight. Tonight? Oh, now, don't tell me you're going to waste another perfectly good evening on some old... Waste another evening? Do you know of any better way of getting some easy dough? And big dough, too. You may get that fur coat and a diamond necklace. And uh, what about the honeymoon in Hawaii? Oh, sure, sure. Just be patient, honey. You're not giving me the runaround, are you, Gil? Runaround? Well, honey, whatever put such an idea into your pretty head? Oh, I don't know. It's just that you're mixed up with so many women all the time. Look, in the divorce racket, the smart guy always represents the woman. That's where the big dough is. She gets the cash settlement. And the bigger the settlement, the easier it is to get a good-sized chunk of it, see? Come on, let's have a little smile. Yeah. That's more like it. <laughs> Look, I want you to come along with me tonight. If the old girl has weakened and won't sign, I may need your help. Okay. At least I'll get a smell of an idea for a change. Well, I call that a lovely dinner. Don't you think? Don't you think? Splendid. Fine, fine. Yeah. Yes, sir. You can't get away from it. The way to a man's heart is mm, through his stomach. <laughs> then your Uncle Henry, he knows he shouldn't have eaten those cucumbers. And Effie said you shouldn't have eaten those cucumbers, Uncle Henry. Oh, they won't hurt me. Besides, I like cucumbers. He says they won't hurt him, and besides, he likes cucumbers. Uh, will you excuse me, Mrs. Butler? Oh, oh uh, certainly, Bob. Come on, Mr. Butler, you promised to show me those fishing pictures. Huh? Those, uh, fishing pictures. Oh, yeah. Uh, excuse me? One of the mottos of a good lawyer is, if you're not getting anywhere, change your tactics. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. These are all my trophies, all right there. Oh, quite a collection. Mm-hmm. Where'd you land that? Uh, that? At Lake Manitowoma. I beg your pardon? Lake Manitowoma, Manor, whatever I said before. <laughs> I, I can't say it twice. But... But, dear, I was all set to go upstairs and get to bed and read my book. But it's too early to go to bed. Oh, Which would you rather play, double solitaire or honeymoon bridge? Solitaire. What's that, a golf cup? Yeah, this is it. Bayside Golf Club. I sure lay him dead to the pin the day I won that. Yeah? Not one hole over three putts. I'll have to play you sometime. Yeah, come out, come out. Fine set of foils, Miss Butler. Oh, yes, we picked those up in Paris. Paris. They belong to Napoleon. Oh, to Napoleon, yeah. yeah. Tell your uncle they were bought in London. And they were once thought to belong to King George III. Oh, Uncle Henry. You tell Aunt Effie she's right. We did pick them up in London. We picked them up in London. Yeah, London. Very generous of your uncle to admit he's wrong. Dad tells me you're quite good at fencing in your college days. Oh, I wasn't bad. I got along. 
I haven't had one of these things in my hand for a long time. But one never forgets once one learns. No, I suppose it's not. Must be split. One dog, monsieur. No, you don't. None of that. Sit down there. None of your rough stuff. Behave yourself. Oh, wait a minute. You Mind know. your own business and keep out of this. Rough in. I don't know. Well, Mr. Grant, would you like to play some bridge? Yeah, sure. It's a good idea. How about it, Mr. Butler? Shall we take him on? Yes, yeah, sure. 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 How about you, Aunt Effie? Well, um, it's just a rubber or two. I'm not very good at this, but I'll do my best. I well, haven't played in a long time, time either. Maybe. Now, you know your routine, don't you? Yeah. All right, just keep your eyes glued on that window. If I need you, I'll give you the old watch signal. Two hearts. Pat? Four hearts. Four hearts? What do you say, Aunt Effie? Yes, what do you say, Don, er, uh, Aunt... Yes, um, pass. Pass. Well, good evening, sir. Mrs. Butler in? Yes, sir. They is all in. In there. Thank you. Yes. All right, it's Smiley. Mm, not bad, partner. Not bad. Uh, Miss Butler, there's a gentleman to see you. Oh, Mr. Wayne. Excuse me, please. So nice to see you again. Thank you. Sorry to barge in like this, but I'd like you to sign this divorce complaint. Just a legal formality, you know? I don't like that fellow. Makes two of us. Oh, uh, well, as a matter of fact, if you don't mind, I, I'd like to give the matter a little more thought. Hey, did you hear that? Well, well, of course, Mrs. Butler. After all, divorce is a serious step. Uh, frankly, when I came in and saw that happy little domestic scene over there, I was tempted to tear this up and tiptoe out. Not really. Yes. I was very happy that you and Mr. Butler have apparently ironed out your difficulties. May I congratulate you? Oh, uh, uh, thank you so much. And you, Mr. Butler. I'm so glad things turned out this way. It's much better. I am, too. Say you're all right. It's nice, but... Yeah. Thank you. Well, I guess there's nothing I can do here, so I'll be running along. Oh, my watch must have stopped. Have you the time? Quarter past eight. Thank you. Come on, Mr. Butler, we've got four hearts to make here. I hope I haven't broken up the game. Who's winning? Oh, we just started. It looks as though Henry's on the way to a little slam. <laughs> oh, Don, we just happen to have all the cards. Well, it's pretty hard to beat someone who has all the cards. Especially if he knows how to play them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is Mr. Butler in? Uh, yes, ma'am. Well, tell him that Evelyn would like to see him. Uh, 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 Evelyn? Yes, Evelyn. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'll tell him he was here. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Butler, but there's a Miss Evelyn to see. Evelyn? Yes, sir. She's right out here in the hall. Evelyn, out in the hall? I don't know any Evelyn. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Henry, you old darling. Mm. What was the idea of going home so early the other night? Well, the party was just getting hot. I Why, Evelyn, know. you got me mistaken for somebody else. I don't know you. You don't know me? No. Why, Henry Butler. <laughs> that is a good one. You don't know me. Oh, why, Lemmy Pie. And oh, by the way, where's my shoe? What was the idea of running away with it in the first place, you cute little dick and Jew? Shoe? Sure, I'm running away with it. Well, I don't know oh, what you're talking about. I Henry. don't... Henry. Oh. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Uh, just give me my shoe and I'll run along. I tell you, I haven't got your shoe. You've got your shoes. Oh, I got that's my... right. Have it your own way. But get this, playboy. The next time, don't carry a joke so far. Good night. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> Shh. 
shoes and <laughs> that, that that's that's funny. She said I had a shoe. I I, I didn't have her shoe. I don't I don't know that woman from Adam. <laughs> she she's telling me she Give me your paper and your pen. I, oh, Effie. Uh oh, here we go again. You, you know what you're doing now, Effie. Is that all? Yes, thank you. Evelyn! I mean uh, Effie! Effie! Hey, where do you think you're going? You know, things like that depress me. Well, good night. Good night. Say good night to Mrs. Butler for me, will you? Yes, I will. Stand aside, sir. Stand aside with this Oh, you see, you want to... I want to bust it, huh? Well, what's your verdict? Something's rotten in Denmark. I think so, too. This is the end, Jane. Absolutely the end. Oh, no, Auntie, please, you... There's can't. no use you're talking. It's as plain as day. Well, I saw it with my own eyes. You old darling. Lanny Pye, you cute little dickens. You can't argue me out of that. But are you sure you don't know this girl? Try to think. Think hard. I don't have to think. I know. I tell you, I never saw her before in my life. Are you positive? Don't you think I know who I know and who I don't know? Yes, but I... I tell you, I never saw that woman before in my life. Pipe down, you. I tell you, I never saw it before in my... Say, what is this? Me whispering in my own house. What am I? A mice or a man? Why, he can't stop me from talking to my own wife. I'm going over there and clean this whole thing up. None of that, Pappy. Oh, that's telling them. I'll bet this isn't the first time. No wonder Grace Norman gave me that laugh. I'll bet she knew the whole time of it. Hello? Oh, hello, Grace. No, I, I, I'm not in the mood for a party tonight. No, I don't feel... Who? He is. That might be a good idea. Hmm. All right, Grace. All right, goodbye, darling. Going out? Yes. Grace Norman's having a party. Mr. Wayne will be there. And I'm going to celebrate my divorce. And am I going to get tight? Oh, excuse me. My, you look beautiful. I want to see you about something. Don't wait up on me. I won't be home until morning. <laughs> what do I care? It means nothing to me. It's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. I may not be back till morning. And I don't know what morning. <laughs> Boy, are they both putting on an act. Yes, yeah, a couple of polyarchies. Oh, God, we had that situation right in the palm of our hand until Aunt Evelyn came looking for her shoe. Incidentally, that, that sounded mighty fishy to me, didn't it to you? Yes. But you know Uncle Henry did come home with a shoe in his pocket the other night. He did? Certainly. That's what started the whole thing. Didn't you know? No. Come in here. Exhibit A, as you lawyers would say. What size do you think this is? Oh, five, five and a half. I wish I'd paid more attention to that girl's feet. Did you notice them? As a matter of fact, I did. So? Well, she's no Cinderella. That makes it fisher than ever. I wonder who she is. Booch knows who she is. Huh? A wise look passed between them. I caught it. Ah, uh, you've been reading too many detective stories. I still say Gooch knows her and probably knows where she lives. 
That makes it easy. Perhaps easier than you think. Another idea? And the father said, are you sure that dog is dead? <laughs> oh, another customer. I'll be back in a flash. All right. <laughs> Good one. Effie, darling. Hello, Grace. I'm so glad you decided to come. It'll do you good. You'll be here in a minute. He's breaking another date. Come on and meet the gang. Hey, gang. This is Effie Butler. But she won't be using the butler much longer. You remember Miss Hill and Mr. Thornton? And you know Dick Gordon. Hey, Dick, get Effie a drink. What would you oh, like? I'm so glad. Get her a bourbon and soda. Oh, drink. no, but I don't... Uh, hey, Ron, he come here. <laughs> Bourbon highball. A what? A bourbon highball. Oh, oh, that's different then. That's uh, makes it a lot of difference. <laughs> Why world? Why world? It's a lot of nonsense. The whole thing is a lot of nonsense. Everything is a lot of nonsense. Yeah. It just it just don't it just doesn't make sense. It's all about a shoe. It's all about one little shoe. A little bit of shoe. Don't say anything. It'll all come out all right. No, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. You know, there's a solution. There's a solution. Uh, don't you tell me. Don't you tell me. Let me get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I got it. I got it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care of yourself, pal. Take care. Oh, wrong direction. Oh, Mr. Gooch. Yeah? You're wanted on the phone. Thanks, lady. Hello. 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 Wasn't nobody there. Oh, she must have hung up. Well, didn't she say who she was or nothing? No. That's funny. I got a couple of gals on the string, but I never gave any on this number. There's only one girl I know would have called me here. Maybe she's the one, pal. Is this the Royal Arms apartment? Give me apartment number 216. Nan, did you call me at the butler joint? No, I didn't. You think I'm crazy? Well, somebody called me here, and I thought it was you. Well, you taught wrong. It wasn't me. Goodbye. You get it? The Royal Arms, apartment 216. Darling. I'm all ready. Oh, boy, I can hardly wait till I get on that dance floor. Seems too good to be true. What's that? I'm awfully sorry, hon, but I've got to disappoint you. A business date has just come up. A business date? Huh? It's a business date, and I mean it. Well, I don't believe you. What do you think of that? I'm through listening to you. Fed up with being shoved aside. You can't tell me you're going on a business date and get away with it. Why don't you come clean and tell me you're rushing one of those rich clients of yours? How do I know you're not planning to marry one of them? Give me the air. You're acting like a fool. Well, I'm sick of the way you're treating me. I stay in here night after night while you drag those rich mamas around nightclubs. Again, if you think that's honeymoon in a vise, a fairy tale. And I'm beginning to get tired of hearing the same old swap all the time. Oh, you are, huh? Yes. Well, if you go out that door tonight, all bets are off. I'm through. Is that the way you feel about it? That's the way I feel about it. Well, that suits me.
Come in. You better save that for Wayne. He might come back, although uh, I doubt it. What? What's the idea? Oh, nothing. Just checking up. I wanted to get a few things straightened out. This little frame up on Mr. Butler, for instance. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. Now, let's get down to facts. You're working with Gilbert Wayne on this divorce record, aren't you? Crazy. Okay, well, I'm crazy. But that gag didn't ring true to me. Nevertheless, fact remains, he took it. When did he take it? That's my business. Oh, I see. And you had home on only one shoe, huh? Yes. Where is it? Where's what? The shoe that you had to hobble home in. Oh, well, it's in there. Let's see it. All right. There. So this is it, huh? Yes. You're pretty much of an amateur at this sort of thing, aren't you? A smart girl would find out the color of the missing shoe first, and then do her bluffing. This is the shoe Mr. Butler brought home. Mighty poor match, I'd say. And both from the left foot, too. That wise guy. It was a frame-up. So what? So? Thanks. You hear that? Great work, Sherlock. Elementary, Watson. Purely elementary. And uh, which would you like to ride in? A patrol wagon or a taxi? Okay, you win. Let's go. Carol, you're the one I want. Listen, Carol, you got me into a mess. Now you gotta get me out. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take you home and show my wife. Come on, come on. Oh, well, excuse me, excuse me. You, you, you can't, come on, can you? come on. I'll take you everything. You take it home and we clean up this whole affair. Say goodbye to Hay. Say goodbye to Hay. And then we all rode home on the milk wagon in evening clothes, and we gave the driver five bucks to help us deliver the milk. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, that must be Gil. Oh. Well, hello. Hello. Come on in. So sorry to be a little late. Better late than never. It looks like you're all way ahead of me. Uh, will you excuse me, please? Hello. Good evening, Mr. Wayne. Good evening, Mrs. Butler. Mm -hmm. oh, you look like a new woman. I feel like one, too. I don't believe a word he says. He tells that to all his clients. No. Come on in. <laughs> Forward march. You don't have to worry about these men flirting with you. I'll protect you. Go on, go on, go on, go on, mind your business. Go on, you old virtue. Come on, Carol. I... Carol, Carol, come back here. Come back here. Hello, Cleveland headquarters. Are you fellas still looking for a lawyer by the name of George Wilson? The connection with the divorce racket? Well, he's here, pulling the same stuff. Yeah. Got a fancy name, Gilbert Wayne. Tie that, will you? You want us to pick him up for you? Okay, call you back. Your boyfriend gets around, doesn't he? Boston, Miami, Cleveland? Any idea where he is right now? No, but wherever he is, I'll bet Mrs. Butler is with him. In that case, I suggest you call Mrs. Grace Norman. Yeah, this is my home. It was. Well, I guess everybody's going to bed. Come on, we'll, we'll go upstairs and wake them up. Yeah, everybody's going to bed. Well, it's a little late. Oh, now watch yourself. Now watch yourself. I know you're tired. Put yourself together. Now, all I want you to do, Carol, is explain everything to my wife, and then you can go home. Get the idea? Come on, come on. Up, stick goes. Upsy daisy, whoopsy woozy, wowsy wowsy, a cozy woozy. Thanks very much. Goodbye. He was there, but he just left. He's taking Mrs. Butler home. I think we'll give the gentleman a little surprise. O'Connor, Dombrowski. <laughs> <laughs> My name is not Wilson. 
tell that to the judge in Boston or Miami or Cleveland. Take your choice. Why, why, officer, what is this all about? Yes, Mr. Wayne's past catching up with him, Aunt Effie. Yes, it seems you're not the only victim of his little racket, Mrs. Butler. Racket? Yes. You remember Evelyn and her little shoe? That was one of Mr. Wayne's little tricks. That's right, Butler. Why, you dirty little chiseler. Oh, the shoe's on the other foot, Gil, and you're going to get it. Come on, you get going. You've got a long train right ahead of you. Oh. I'm sorry for everything I did tonight, Mrs. Butler, except that. But if you ask me, I think we're both well rid of a big headache. Oh, dear. I don't seem to see what this is all about. Well, what's my next move? Why, you've never been in Boston, Cleveland, Miami, have you? <laughs> no. Well, then, forget about it. Thank you very much. Oh, I almost forgot. That's, uh, oh. Oh, <laughs> the wrong one. There's no use breaking up a pair. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Good night. Good night. And to think that I ever mistrusted him. Now, Auntie, all you have to do is go upstairs and tell him you're sorry. Sure, Mrs. Butler, that's all there is to it. Oh, I hope you're right, Bob. But I... But he still hasn't told me where this came from the night of our wedding anniversary. Auntie, now don't get excited again. Well, take it easy. And don't worry about the thing, because I'm... I'm... Where are Oh, uh, I don't worry about anything. I, I'll take care of you. I'm sure he can explain it. Oh. Yes, just give him a chance. Just one step here, Lou. Yes, easy now, easy, easy. Oh! oh. Sorry, I'm awfully sorry this happened, but you know how things are uh, when you when you're not ready. All right, folks. Oh! Henry Butler. Oh, honey, I was your meeting by Carol Sweatworth. Oh! Yeah, Carol, this is my wife. Hey, that's what we've been looking for. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah. One, two, that's the fellow was what they uh, uh, they wasn't going to get you on the boat, you know, you know, so on the way home, I got you, 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 I got